I've had the honor and the privilege of working in music since I was 19 years old. And uh, I've worked with some of the biggest legendary artists and stars of all time. You know, just to give you an idea, I produced uh, records for Linda Ronstadt, Dionne Warwick, and Ray Charles, and Diana Ross, and Ross Stewart, you know. So that's one side of my career. I worked on a lot of movies over the years as a music producer. And uh, in 1992, I guess it was or so, I was working on the movie Father of the Bride. And I had an idea to do this song, The Way You Look Tonight, over the most important scene in the movie, Steve Martin seeing his daughter dancing. And so I made a demo of it with me singing it to play for the director and for Steve and Marty Short and everybody to show them what I had in mind for that scene. And they loved my singing of it. And they said, well, you need to be in the movie. So I was, and that changed my life, really. From then on, I became a performer. But to love you Just the way you look tonight So you say you started the career at 19, but mm -hmm. what age were you when you just fell in love with music? And my whole life, I mean, I always loved music. When I was a little kid, my mother used to tell me, Christina, my mother Christina, <laughs> that they used to hide records when I'm Italian so so we grew up with God and Frank Sinatra in my house but not necessarily in that order mm -hmm. you know so we listened to all the Italian singers and my mother used to tell me to go get a certain Frank Sinatra song when I was like three years old and I would go find it pick it out and go put it on the on the uh, record player I was always into it and when I got into high school I got in a band two different bands you know like a rhythm and blues band and a pop band and we played the high school proms and we played clubs too. So when did you make that transition from the pop music to more of the jazz? When I sang in Father of the Bride, believe it or not, uh, that was way late into my career. I, I worked with B.J. Thomas and Dionne Warwick and Burt Backrack and Hal David and Carole King and Jerry Goffin and all that. I came up in that Brill Building era, mm -hmm. you know. It was, you know, they were all pop songs. The last album I made was a salute to that time, uh, you know, that Brill Building time with songs like Be My Baby and Up on the Roof and On Broadway. And you lost that love and feeling. And, you know, you can go on and, and see the video of me and uh, Bill Medley singing You Lost That Love and Feeling. He was the original Righteous Brother. So we're the Righteous Cousins mm -hmm. on that there album. You go. <laughs> <laughs> The standards, which is basically what I do now, were, uh, you know, songs about they were my parents' music, really, you know. And still very well received. Oh, it's been the most received, and it's a new... It's gotten a rebirth, the Great American Songbook. And so I made an album of standards, and then Rod Stewart heard that album and asked me if I would help him make an album of standards for himself, and he ended up making four of them, I think. And the first album I produced for Rod won his only Grammy. So asking the legendary artist himself, what is it like to work with other artists of that caliber? Well, it's great, because you get to create something with them and in most cases, the producer of a record spends 10 times more uh, time working on it than the artist himself. So it's very fun. It's a very cool, creative process. And you're as good as the artist, too, by the way. I mean, you can be the greatest record producer in the world if you don't have somebody that can sing, like Rod Stewart or Ray Charles or Linda Ronstadt. <laughs> You'd be sitting there a long time mm -hmm. before you get anything. You won't get anything great, you know. Well, let's talk a little bit about your tour now. You're here for the Pro Medica Concert Series in Toledo. What is it like performing here? And then next on your schedule, you're heading to Italy. Yeah. So describe what the tour is like traveling so much and going to all of these different places. It's what I do, so... It's, it's my job, <laughs> but it's, it's taken me to places I would never get to go on my own, you know. Like this is the third year I've been in Italy and uh, I'm Italian. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it's, it's given me the opportunity to 
travel and go to some incredible places. A couple of years ago, I, I sang for Prince Charles at Buckingham Palace. He sent me a request to sing at his uh, Prince of Wales Foundation dinner. I thought he made a mistake, to be honest with you. <laughs> he said he you know, the wrong guy, right? Yeah, I thought he was, I said, man, I told my manager, I said, will you call and make sure he doesn't think I'm Steven Tyler, you know? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I get over there and he goes, where's Aerosmith, you know? But no, it was me and that was, uh, yeah, that was, uh, that was like something you, you go, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and playing with the Boston Pops and things like that. I've been, I have a residency at the Cafe Carlisle in New York. For the last 14 years, I took over for the legendary Bobby Short. But Italy is just, it's like a jazz cruise or something. People come over to this incredible place. Every minute that the fans that come there is filled with something amazing. Zach Vassar, I'm president and CEO of the Toledo Symphony. Uh, we're down here at Promenade Park for the second in the Promatica Summer Series. Uh, this is uh, the great Steve Tyrell live in concert right behind me. Uh, it's a great pleasure for the orchestra to be involved in this. He's a wonderful, wonderful jazz singer. This is a jazz town, so I'm just on cloud nine right now. The folks from Promatica have done such a wonderful job revitalizing our downtown area and it's just a great privilege to be able to bring music back downtown in this gorgeous revitalized park here. So, you know, if anybody hasn't been downtown to see the new Promenade Park, just walk by and notice that it's fundamentally different than it was before. And to be down here and to be down on the waterfront and just look back up at our skyline and see that it's symbolizing something very different and that the Toledo Symphony can be part of that, making our community more musical, I'm just really proud. I love the park. I grew up, I'm born and raised in Toledo, and I know, I remember coming here as a child, and uh, I remember seeing a lot of stuff down here, and it's great to see the uh, reemergence of Toledo. It's great to see Toledo coming back, and coming back so strong. Great to see the big screen downtown. It's great to see the bright lights downtown. It's great to hear the great music downtown. I mean, and it's great to feel these positive Toledo vibes downtown. Just the way you love tonight. All of me, why not take all of me? Can't you see? I'm just no good without you, baby. Take my lip. Years ago, we had the, the, the music uh, party in the park, and that had a great vibe and it's exciting. And now this has brought it all back. There's, there's a, a tremendous vibe down here. Uh, uh, everybody's very excited. The, the music, I mean, listen to it. It just sounds, it sounds great. You know, the, the music permeates through all the buildings. It's drawing people here. And I think this is going to be a, a great thing for, for a long time. We danced as hard as we could. Yeah, I'm still sweating. We were swing dancing. Yeah. We were flapping our wings. We were kicking our heels up. It was 
phenomenal. It's amazing. So good. It's just amazing night to be in Toledo. It's yeah. amazing weather. It's amazing atmosphere. It's an amazing venue. Yes. What more could you ask for? And it's amazing music.